us a little bit about yourself, Paul. Well, uh, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, uh, and I grew up in Chicago. Um, moved here for college, uh, went to Grandview. I, I worked for an architectural firm uh, for about eight years, and most of that time I did a lot of their presentation work. Uh, built small-scale models of, of new buildings and renderings of them and this kind of thing. Nobody else was doing that, so I thought, well, I'm going to start doing that for all the companies instead. So I started that, and about two years later, the computer kind of kicked me out of that niche because now all of a sudden you have all the computer graphics. You can do all kinds of things and walk people around. And so I started looking for something else I could get my hands into, and uh, actually started doing some court work, uh, accident reconstruction for personal injury and wrong. Uh, sets are kind of like large models. And uh, at that time, Busby Productions was uh, located downtown Des Moines here. And I contacted him and started doing a couple of, uh, I think one of the first ones I did was a lottery commercial where they needed the end of a pool table uh, to see the balls coming down uh, with the numbers on them. And so I, I made that part for them. And it just kind of escalated from there. And uh, and another one of your specialties is special effects. So can you tell us about some of the special effects you've done? Uh, yes. Uh, my, my most favorite one, uh, we did for a short uh, little 30-minute movie uh, quite a number of years ago, but it's probably one of the biggest special effects. Uh, it involved hitting a old Chevy Chevette with a five-car freight train at about 4 o'clock in the morning and <laughs> blowing up the car without hurting anybody, <laughs> making sure we wouldn't lose the car totally because we only had the one car. You couldn't do a retake. <laughs> making sure we can't derail the train or don't derail the train because that's really expensive when you have to buy a new train. Um, so it, that that one is... <laughs> We lit up the sky like noon. Oh, my gosh. Had a plume go up about 150 feet in the air of fire and smoke and light. And it, it was, there is a it fair was, amount of math involved because, like you just mentioned, you have the, the speed of the train. This time the car was stationary, so we didn't have to calculate that in. But based on how you position the car on the tracks, the impact of the train, how it should spin, of course, it's on gravel, you know, real close to the edge of the road, which dropped off into drainage ditches. Uh, didn't want to lose the car in the drainage ditch either. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of figuring. And then, then also there's a safety standpoint. Mm -hmm. And when I get involved in stuff like that, uh, I basically design what needs to be done. And then I have people that I can uh, call on that are licensed pyro pyrotechnicians that can actually provide the explosives and this kind of thing. For commercials I've done, props, uh, which can be anything from a small miniature uh, to uh, like a futuristic phone uh, or a, a card reader kind of a thing. Uh, I've also done, uh, oh, there was a, uh, Discovery Channel series, I Survived, where the, this particular episode dealt with a uh, TV uh, fellow that uh, with the, the truck, and they were going to broadcast, and they <clears throat> sent the antenna up into a high power wire, and he got electrocuted, oh. but survived. Well, they wanted to reenact that, and to do so, they, had, they needed a mock-up of the antenna, so I had to recreate the antenna, and we had to bring it up into a mock power line and set off pyrotechnics and that kind of thing. So huh. they, they can get kind of interesting. For television, uh, I've worked for uh, uh, Hallmark Hall of Fame. Uh, Harvest of Fire was, was that one. Uh, I've worked for American Playhouse, uh, Cora Unashamed. Uh, I've worked on a, a lot of independent movies uh, locally filmed, uh, one of them being Mommy 2, another one, uh, uh, 16 to Life. Um, I've also worked on uh, theatrical, or to be released theatrically, uh, oh, what was uh, South Dakota, and uh, The Experiment just 
this last year. I know that you said you've just joined the union, and uh, can you tell me a little bit of the pros and cons about the union? Well, um, Iowa is a, a right-to-work state, which means you don't have to be a union member to work in, in this field and you know, on, on films. Um, the drawback is uh, movies that come in like uh, Twister and, and Bridges of Madison County, I could get on those crews, but not in the positions that I would like to. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm too old to be a, a gopher <laughs> at this point. So, um, But uh, especially since the, uh, the tax credit crash and debacle this last year, uh, the work has really slowed down, uh, to almost non-existent. Uh, so again, trying to look for new ways to get out there and get more work, uh, I finally decided that uh, it was time to join uh, the local union here, and I am now trying to reach out to out states uh, to try to get get involved in some work in other states now. But it's also allowed me to work at the Civic Center and, and Wells Fargo uh, for smaller events. <laughs> yeah, uh, back before it, it crashed, <laughs> uh, there were a number of us that were trying to meet and get together to work out some of the kinks. Uh, trying to get additional personnel in the, into the film office to oversee more of it. Because uh, it, it was just very unfortunate that all of this got dumped on one, one man's shoulders on top of his regular duties. Now he had all of this. Uh, trying to get a little more, uh, trying to tighten up the loopholes and make the wording a little more specific. Uh, just, just trying to fix what all of us knew was really wrong with what was going on but then when all of this taking advantage of <laughs> happened uh yeah to uh close down the whole thing uh that that to me was just so seriously wrong it it's it's hurt not just those of us in the state that work in this profession it, it has hurt the state and the way people look at how the state operates you know here they've made all these promises and and Instead of trying to work out what needs to be done, they just close the door. One thing I know you have on your Emmy T-shirt. <laughs> Tell us. Third time through, I realize it's my name on this. I've just been nominated <laughs> for an Emmy for art direction. Fabulous. And so again, we go out to California. We're sitting there, and you know all of the the technical. Uh, program part of it and unfortunately that same year we were up against uh the gulliver's travel two-part one uh mm -hmm. they won we lost <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> very we said we're going, going to limit it to 25 people and paul is very well known in the state and in the film community so we may uh get to our limit and as we said, uh, just keep checking out the IMPA website and you'll see it come up under training.